Let's do this. Let's get it. Let's get it. Believe me, I never got invited to any parties. I just sit out from the in crowd and stay within. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kenyatta and this is my husband Dion, also known as Chronicle Absolute. My channel name is Karen A and we are planning to take a trip and we are going as a humongous family of 10, ten. nine and a half, ten. 10, okay? And we got the big thing here. It he just takes up a seat. seat just like the airport yeah he does he does that, that, that half mark yeah he does he, and he got more luggage than all the rest of us yeah. okay but then it's that's besides the point this video is going to be a review of the ford transit big thing ride i don't know what it's called it's a ford transit you see a thumbnail that's why you clicked on the video so if you new here you don't know how we do we are real fam we are real family we country we good you better Southern. buckle up because you're going for a ride <laughs> on this here channel anyways all right y'all so with that we're going to do a review let y'all see a little bit of everything that's in here so this is the the ford transit this is a 15 passenger van uh, we need it because there's 10 of us and we need space for luggage and whatnot i didn't know this until the wife brought it up after we got it but apparently she's been doing her research i discovered after the fact that some of these seats can actually be removed in case you don't need all 15. so in this case because we don't really need all 15 per se we might need some space so we will be removing some of the seats um i, I think more more specifically one seat yeah but we're going to take you all through a tour of what the seats are um so when i get did select this vehicle i knew that I, like i said i wanted to be spacious and i also knew that i wanted us to be comfortable as possible because we're not going on no 10 11 12 hour ride but you know with all the driving that we're about to do we want to be comfortable so let's start up here in the cockpit area here the Talk captain's chair mm -hmm. spots okay there is plenty of room let me bring y'all down and show you my hubby is six three. Oh, i no, wish i was six three i'm sorry he's five eleven oh you just killed me just then <laughs> So, as you can see here, we have the control station right here. Yeah, tell him in he's central. <laughs> and then we also have him in his spot. Yeah, so he has plenty of room. He I'm 5'9". He, he had the seat, you know, back. Yeah, but we got a lot of headroom, a lot of head space. There's a bunch of... All your maps and, and your almanacs and... All that stuff there. CB radios. And things of that nature, <laughs> okay? This looks like it's a newer model because I haven't seen any of these on YouTube. Anywho, maybe I just didn't look at the right one. I don't know, but anyways, this is what we got. They got controls for your cup holders. You got extra space, key space, whatever, candy, I don't know, m and else, whatever you want to put in there. And yeah, we got all the controllers, standard controllers. He has a lot of space. I'm gonna just put it like that. And he seems like he's gonna be very comfortable yeah. in his space, okay? As far as yeah. me being in the captain, the co-captain chair. The navigators. I am 5'2". Okay, and I have a, let, me, let me sit up. Let me sit up, and my feet touch the ground perfectly fine. Okay, <laughs> you have whatever space is here you need to put there camera, whatever, gum, whatever you want to put there. You got that. You have more cup holder space and just extra space here. You have a deep pocket to close the door. You have your window controls here on this side, anyways. Um, you have the lock and unlock the door handle. You have a cup holder for you. You have all your controls and things to do that control temperature stuff. And you, you know, the heat, air vents and all that. And that doesn't come with this ride. And you have some other stuff. So yeah, and I, I guess I look comfortable. I don't know. Oh yeah, you look comfortable, babe. My feet touch the ground. You so look good too. That's everything. So we're gonna move on back to All the All right, so the good side. thing about this is that you can say to the kids, don't let me come back there, and you really can. <laughs> you know, so we got this here. Right, let's just move ourselves. Look, we've got three seats right here in the front, and then we got, of course, still three, one, two, and three, but we got that nice path. How'd you like the pathway, dude? It's we've got the walkway area right here. This allows us to basically run back here and, and pop somebody who's been acting up. 
if you're from the south you understand what i mean <laughs> and then we got four right here now i mentioned before that, that that some of these seats can actually be removed and as i recall these two seats in the middle can be removed so so you can have someone right here to the left someone right here to the right this second row those seats can be removed this one can be removed which is what we are going to do and then it looks like all three of these up front can be removed as well so you have some possibilities in regards to rearranging and, and deciding what seats need to stay and which ones don't let's run up to the back real quick and in case you didn't know this is your gas tank right there all right then we walk to the back transit 350 so you've got the ability i assume to lock and unlock you can know it's to touch you can push it back further so we go past this mark here then you unlock it babe there we go so it expands it hey okay cool even more all the way so that it goes all the way to the back side here as you can see and there's a magnet it's a little magnet piece that connects from the back of the door to that part Okay. In order to remove the seats, all that you really do is you grab hold to these here. Quite frankly, one seat is heavy. To do two seats, you're going to need somebody else to actually help you with this. But what happens though is that the the feet at the front of the seat on the floor, those, those are locked in, kind of serves as a hinge in a sense. You unlock these right here, but it unlocks both the front as well as the back of the feet. And then someone else has to get on that side over there and make it help lift out and you, you well we're going to show you an example we're going to show you with one of them because we got to yep. remove it so let's go ahead and close this door back also has a lock hinge thing on this side as well if you need to release it these two handles right here mm -hmm. i want you to pull those as hard as you possibly can i'm really good at pulling both of them at the same time yes sir cool got that and keep holding on to them all right it just pops right out. Just like can, I, can I let go? You sure can. Thank you. So now with that seat being gone, you have a good little space. As you can see, all the trash and stuff there from people traveling and things in this. Um, what we are going to do is clean with me, so you should see that on the channel soon. If you would like to see something like that, then don't forget to subscribe as well as hit the notification bell so you don't miss an upload. So that right there gives you much more, a little bit more room space, you know, to kind of move around in because each row, like I said, we have a seat here we have a row here and everybody has seat seat belts which is awesome i love that also it goes back it leans back the two cool this, this is as far as it can go okay all right so we're gonna take it for a spin just kind of talk to you all and and probably gonna tell you how it feels driving and whatnot smooth just like that smooth. <laughs> so this is a full tank of gas Right now it says 323 miles before I need to fill up again. We drove a few miles from the car rental spot over to the house, so it's not quite at 323, but it gives you a general idea of how often you might need to fill up your um, tank there, especially if you're planning long trips. 300 something miles on one tank of gas is kind of the average, just kind of de depends on what sort of vehicle that you have. I've had some where, you know, they did pretty pathetic when it came to gas mileage and in this van make sure that you take wide turns wide turns and anytime you turn the wheel whatever direction that you're turning the wheel make sure you look out of that mirror um i've already got nothing that we did here but we've got some damage to the mirror over here and we got some damage to the door as well so mirrors come in handy and when you've got like four of them use them because they're, they're there for a reason right so if you've never driven anything this this big just make sure that that you check your mirrors plain and simple it's not very loud in here i don't know about the wife here no, but actually it's really good y'all i thought it was gonna be like really really you know like you're coming up old school vans that you would see back in the day and you'd be like extra loud when you're taking off and you can hear the perch like you riding on the road like we flint stones and stuff that type of feel okay yeah. it's not going on at all here how do you feel back there in the back sir also, how does it sound back there? I can really only hear shaking things, things shaky, but that is fine. Okay. Also, I think Chronicle Absolute Daddy should have a short channel called Tinker Time. Oh, I like that. Okay. Tinker Time. Okay. <laughs> okay, so it does have a rear camera and everything for you to help you back up. There is also a 
indicator to let you know that if you're about to hit somebody or something there it is right there and let you know you're too close so also want to throw that in there if y'all like these type of things we have some other reviews on my channel i'll make an actual separate playlist of car reviews and things rentals that we do we just rent vehicles and well we don't just rent them we rent them for a reason obviously but we do rent vehicles like i said from time to time and uh, we like do reviews on them especially if it's something that we may be in the market of getting or somebody else might want to see what it looks like and they that thought about you know maybe getting it for themselves or whatever we have a review a real real true honest review okay so thank y'all so much for watching if y'all enjoy these type of videos please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell so that you'll miss an upload from me and if you're new hey thank you so much let me know in the comments if you are new by leaving me a heart purple heart emoji so i will know and if you've been here before you're one of my old old school peoples okay then leave me a red heart all right anything you want to say how do you make a purple heart don't or forget to heart. keep the hope keep the faith and keep praying guys i will catch y'all in my next one <laughs> bye guys <laughs>